And we have what I would call a hermeneutical spiral. We're attempting through our study of language and culture and spirituality to get as close as we can to capturing the original message to the original recipient so that then we can apply it accurately. And then here, let me bring up the next big principle and we can decide, is it cultural or is it normative? Is it cultural or is it normative? Because I think we would all, well, maybe 99% of us reading through say first Corinthians would take passages like about <clears throat> uh, women must be silent in church and about having your head covered, your hair cut. There are maybe one in a thousand or one in 10,000 that might take that as literal today, but most of us would not read it that way. We would say that's cultural, it's not normative. So how do we know when it's one and when it's the other? Many times, maybe all the time, scripture interprets scripture which is a huge hermeneutical principle. So for example, take slavery. Paul gives uh, commandments about how masters are to treat slaves, how slaves are supposed to respond to their master's authority. Is that cultural, is it normative? Most of us would say that's, that's, that's cultural. How do we know that though? Are we just saying that because it's uncomfortable? Well, we know it because Paul told slaves to gain their freedom if they could. He tells them to submit, and if there's a way for you to gain your freedom, by all means do so. Well, then clearly that's not normative. He was dealing with a situation then and there. So those clues are normally embedded within the text. And I, I just love to say that scripture interprets scripture.